Mr. Chairman, sir, Madam, designating National Institutes of Design in Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Assam, and Haryana as institution of national importance was a recommendation of Standing Committee report, which has now been incorporated to this bill. The amendment will bring out about the change to be able to now ban degrees and diplomas. These did not exist before as these institutes were registered and societies under the Societies Registration Act 1860. <coughs> Thus, it is a welcome amendment as was suggested by the committee as which it will encourage more students to take up design courses in various sectors and build skilled professionals in our country. This bill has gone through its due parliamentary procedure and has taken note of the recommendation from stakeholders. It has provisions that are beneficial to all. We would like to emphasize that this procedure should be followed for all bills that require special scrutiny in Parliament. The Standing Committee had also recommended that the chairperson of the governing council of the institute should be an academician from the field of design only. Currently, a chairperson may be who an eminent academician, scientist or technologist or professional or industrialist to be nominated by the visitor, i.e. the president of India. It is vital that the government also bring about this amendment before this bill becomes an act. This bill will make design courses more inclusive and will bring forth the revolution in design in India. With the institutes receiving the status, the rich culture and heritage of India, along with modernization, will have a larger scope to flourish and create innovation. I would also like to point out that the importance of de designing a relevant curriculum framework in national design institutes. This will prepare students for the dynamic modern industry of design being in sync with the industry and its ever-changing needs should be a crucial aspect of the course structure at these institutes. Greater attention should be paid to the crafts industry, including tribal art forms, NID students should have option to specialize in these areas. This will give a much needed boost to MSMES in the country. Mr. Speaker, before I conclude, I must address two crucial issues. First, we must realize that we have made a mockery of our institution as we are declaring non-existing institutions as institution of eminence like the yet to be constructed geo university Secondly, it is my duty to highlight the current situation of India's greatest institutes of national importance, which is Vishwabharati University in the state of West Bengal. Kobiguri Rabindranath Tagore had said in this last letter to Mahatma Gandhi that Vishwabharati is like a vessel carrying the cargo of my life's best treasure and I hope it may claim special care from my countrymen for its preservation. It is with great dismay that I say the Rabindranath greatest treasure, the Vishwabharati University is being compromised today with the deployment of CISF parliamentary forces on its premises due to the administration willingness to respond to the needs of their own student. I urge the government, especially the Home Ministry, to resist from deploying parliamentary forces at the drop of a hat and preserve our crown jewels, preserve our children's lives, preserve the future of this great nation, preserve the dream that Tagore had. Thank you, Madam.